Mission. So in 2014, we came out with Second Son, and about six, seven months later, we came out with First Light. And then about a year from that, PS4 Pro was starting to come out. So we wanted to support that with Second Son and Fetch with First Light and all the cool laser bullets that come with that. But behind the scenes, what we were really working on was trying to figure out how do we make a new game? Like, if we were going to depart from Infamous, like, it's gotta be awesome, and, and what is the process to get there? When we were looking at our next project, we wanted to stay open world, because we're giving authority power to the player. And we didn't want to walk away from that. We think it's integral to modern gaming that players are in charge. And I think in true Sucker Punch fashion, we answered that with, hey, what does everybody at the studio think? And we had about, I believe it was 70, 72 pitches, you know, 72 ideas that kind of all formed up from various corners of the studio. And then we try to coagulate that into like one you know, idea. Turns out these things are really, really hard. We thought a lot about open world games and what makes some open world games just beautiful and great. And uh, we kind of settled on wanting to have a clear fantasy as the player. Like, who, who are you? What are you gonna be doing in the game? And then we came upon this game idea, which is, awesomely simple, right? To hear about it is to want to play it. Who doesn't want to go to feudal Japan? Who doesn't want to be a samurai with a katana on their hip, right? When you tell somebody that you get to play as a samurai, you don't really have to say anything else. You just say that fantasy and, and, and everybody just builds a list of scenarios and narratives and gameplay scenes that, they, that you might get to play in that. When we hit upon the Mongol invasion, of, of Tsushima, of 1274, it all clicked. Suddenly you knew who the heroes were, who the villains were, what the stakes were for the world, and you had a video game. I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? Ghost of Tsushima is a uh, action, stealth, adventure game uh, where you play a samurai in feudal Japan and we're taking inspiration from the historical point in time where the Mongol army invaded the island of Tsushima. All those locations are in engine, they're in the world. That's the place that you're gonna defend, a huge island filled with a lot of different places, towns, people. There's so much to learn, there's so much to see. I think player choice in this game will mean something very different than other games that we've met in the past. We really want you to have that choice of, hey, that cool bamboo forest over there, I really want to check it out. I want to head in that direction and I want to, you know, see what it is. There's no waypoint. There's no thing that says, go here and look at this bamboo forest. And we just hopefully are presenting something that's beautiful and exotic that's different than the current place that you might be in. And that will come at a world choice, right? Like that's your adventure choice. Like it's like, where do I want to go? In Infamous, we let you explore powers. In this game, we let you explore what it is to be a samurai inside of this enormous landscape of medieval Japan. You know, here at the studio, sometimes we talk about the world as a character. And I think that even um, in Second Son, we pushed really hard to make the flavors of the world come alive. There's all these other elements that make you remember what it really felt like to be a tourist in this place. And we're gonna do the same thing for this game, starting with some of the shots you see in the trailer. We've been working on this game for you know, three and a half years, and it's exciting to be at a spot where we're finally able to share with the world what we've been working on. And now it's just up to us to actually deliver this fantasy, this wonderful fantasy about being a samurai in feudal Japan.